Alrighty dudes, I know a lot of you from here and on YouTube wanting a full Iconic Woman player reviews. I thought it was a bit too late, but since 21 is pretty similar, so we'll probably do that. Um, Alright, let's quickly go through this. Now remember guys, I do have a video on YouTube doing a un universal player review. Basically explaining these abilities um, from tight position, etc. Therefore, let's say you have Tony Cruz and you have three more midfielders based on the formation that you play and what's effective in the game compare them because in general i don't think players like that needs the review now i do like nabry not because the obvious he's fast he's actually not the fastest player but a winger with physical contact high physical contact is kind of you don't see that that often um usually yeah skillful wingers fast they have balance I do have the Euro version, so I think what I would like to get, Colsterman, yeah. I mean, what do you look for a fullback? He's tall, he's fast, he's got decent defensive work rate. I think it should be solid. Grab the bat. Ta again, for the big guy, he's pretty fast, but lacks balance. Don't do funky stuff with him. Um, I would like to get Timo Werner. A goal poacher with that speed and that balance, physical contact. Not the best passer though. Because if you use a diamond, it's really important your striker have good passing. Or even one touch passing. Makes a massive difference. Or even slight little skills like um, heel trick. You know when you're in a box, you do a heel, heel pass. It changes the game. Junter is very versatile. I did have the Euro version. He go, went up to 97 rated. He can play left back, right back, DMF, CMF. I usually offensive, kind of offensive center backs like him. I like him in a three at the back managers, really. I mean, he's an orchestrator. The best orchestrator for me, it's Frankie Dion, honestly. Orchestrators usually do provide a lot of a defensive work. Necessarily, they don't have high defensive work rate, but because they drop deep to orchestrate the game, that means they are going to be dropping back to defend as well. Buenos aires, Ron Papito. Se siente bien? ¿Qué pasa? They said 20. Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah, I think if I get Werner and Ta, maybe make a nationality team for um, match day. I just want to play 30 more games for match day to get the full bonus. I don't know if this Cristiano is going to be better than the one I have. Probably is going to be not going to be massive difference. <clears throat> Usually you want to pay attention. What do you prefer for Cristiano? Let's say the other one is higher rated, but he's, he's got particular abilities that you prefer or is better in the game. I do like Pepe. I think Pepe is one of the center backs that when you slide tackle, the ball stays between his legs. It's always been like that. Even the gold ball I used this year. So I would like to have Pepe back. Ruben Diaz, his rating is kind of dropped. He was faster when he was a silver ball. William is an absolute freaking tank. But um, he actually had physical contact like 88 with his normal card. I mean, a guy like this, yeah, he's tall, he's strong, incredible work rate. But that speed and that, you know, at least he's got decent tight position in terms of agility. Balance sucks as well. Guerrero. I think this guy could be solid if you play three at the back. Cross specialist always hugs the touch line. Bernardo Silva, so much fun to play with. Bruno Fernandez, I'm not a big fan because a 91 rated outward player who doesn't have high balance or physical contact, he's still good though, still good. Go again in Thunbergs, we go Legend Scout. We did. Okay. Well, there we go. So for those of you guys who get confused with Legend Scouts, uh, let me just put that out there. Let's see who are in the Legend Scout anyway. The options that you're going to get. So you go a specific player. Now, these are, if you just, if you just go ahead and open this, you're going to get one random legend. But if you go to the auction house, Let's say you want to get 
uh, I don't know, Roberto Carlos. Then all you have to do in the auction house, get five star left back and you will get him because he's the only left back, right? Let's see. And right now, probably auction house prices will go high. Yep, he's the only left back. And so on. So you can compare. I think I'm just going to gamble with it. I don't really need anybody in particular. Um, right. Who else was the other one? You got Bergomi. Bergomi is good, dude. Trust me. If the algorithm is not against you, yeah, Bergomi is solid. I did have the other Morata. I'm not sure if this one is better or worse, but yeah, super sub should be always in your squad. Fabian Ruiz, a tall midfield is always essential. A lot of times you don't have that ground passing option. The simple circle pass makes a big change. If it was up to me, if I had full stamina every game, I would have three tall midfielders all the time. So I would like to get him. Saul, I mean, versatile player, decent defensive work rate. He's actually all over the place when I use him, honestly. Such a good player. I did have player of the week, Rodri, I believe. This one goes to 97 rated. I mean, a tall guy, I think a little bit of a higher balance would have been nice because... Obviously, a defensive midfielder, you just want to do his duty, you know, defend, spread the ball back. But I like to trust a defensive midfielder to spread the ball a bit more. But that high position, 88, that is solid. The balance could be a little bit of a problem. And when you max him out, dude, he's like almost a goal defensive. He's almost got a center back as defensive work rate. So I would say, yeah. Is he better than Biscuit? Well, Biscuit is a better dribbler, more technical, but he's slower. And that's the difference. Biscuit would go 97 tie position, 86 balance, and 87 physical contact. So I trust Sergio Biscuit more if I want to shoot, you know, shield the ball. Since when Navas is a freaking right back? Eh, a fast guy, not the best dribbler. Mm, I hope I don't get him. Again, I don't know if the Ramos is better than the other one I have, but we'll compare them anyway. Saul, definitely, man. Well, finally, Terry Hogg, you got somebody you wanted, man. Happy for you. <laughs> no law, so I need to decide between Ronaldinho or Romario. Well, Romario is fun. Ronaldinho is fun, too. Think about who you need rather than who you want. I got Ruben Diaz, Cristiano Werner, three free spins. There you go, man. You, you go three game changers absolutely free. I know it's July, but I'm not going to go there. But remember that video I uploaded on YouTube? You can have a solid team without spending a dime. But if you don't have time to grind and you don't want to buy coins, then don't be a money Nancy. All right. Now I want to check something quickly before we do spins. It's not like I'm going to get this Ronaldo, but let's see which Ronaldo's best. For those of you guys on uh, Twitter, I can put this link in the description if you want a quick view. But in the meantime, sorry. Um, Noob streamer, I need to add my cam uh, cam frame. There we go. Relax. We good? We good. Yay. Okay. Compare. Uh, which Ronaldo do I have? I think this is the Ronaldo I have. There won't be a massive difference, really. I don't think there will be a massive difference. This one might be one uh, one point less, but doesn't necessarily always make him a better one. Obviously, the the newest Ronaldo right now, right off the bat, he's got like one plus every status. Pretty much one plus. This, the green one is go one one finishing. Um, yeah, really not much of a difference. I just want to see um, Ramos as well. Because these are the players I personally have.
Yeah, that's the Ramos I have. Okay, everything's the same. The featured, well, the Spain national one is go better finishing. Ah, the featured one is go better defensive work rate. Well, I'm definitely keeping that one. I don't care about the finishing, yeah. I think three points more. Yeah, we'll definitely keep that one. Alrighty. Did they give us any legend scouter? Yes, they did. Are you not in the game yourself, man? I'm not Google. All right. So we're talking about nine spins. Let's just get some points quickly. Makes them the best one, but just gotta compare, right? All right. Do you know what? Let me just gamble with my legend one. See who I'm gonna get. I hope I don't get Cruyff because uh, Led Kang wanted Cruyff for a very long time. And what if I choose this one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here we go. The Golden Globe. This biscuit's 98. Damn. You can't get duplicate from scouts. Uh, no, I don't think you can. Who that? That's Duda. I'll keep him. I have the iconic moment one. So if you gamble, that's what you get. Random. But easy is good, dude. But easy is good. But in July, when everybody's go high protein diet players, then yeah, but easy short, not that fast. Use somebody tall with him. He's got decent defensive work rate. I prefer Bergomi. All right, I'm gonna go for Spain first. See what we're gonna get. I'll take it. I'll take it. I like a tall midfielder, orchestrator. I'll take it. Is he in form? Ronaldinho or Nedved? Dude, again. This is something only you know, bro. Only you know. You're asking me to, uh, the choice between a skillful attacking midfielder and a box to box midfielder. Think about who you need rather than who you want. Nedved is solid. Ronaldinho is fun to play with. Nedved is box to box, man. Well, George, restart the game, dude. Like, go back out, come back in. I wouldn't freaking know, man. I just had to go back in, come back out, and I got the Legend Scout. Well, I guess this Sergio Biscuit's better. Sorry, I kind of get irritated with uh, silly questions. I guess not gonna get the Ramos. Is Maldini very offensive? He is, yes. I use Maldini as a CB on the flank or as a left back, right back. Another Sergio Biscuit? Oh my god. I literally got the worst one. The worst one. Who the fuck would use this guy as an RB? I mean, maybe as an RMF if you play three at the back, but yeah. Fucking A. All right, Spain one will suck. I'm going to do Germany last one. This was definitely not worth it. Well, the Spain one was free coins anyway. We got 300 free coins. Now, that's a thumbnail for YouTube. How to get Cristiano. <laughs> Isn't it? Careful. Well, is this Cristiano better than the one I have? We don't know. And dudes, I'm a weirdo. I don't look I don't like having two players. Otherwise, ideally, 
You want to keep both and switch them for stamina. Xbox didn't get a Legends card for the guy asking. See, I didn't know he was on Xbox. And again, dude, like if somebody didn't get it, I, I wouldn't know. Why would I know? How did you find that trick? Um, you just have to grab your balls and squeeze it anti-clockwise. Management skill boost. I'm more happy about that one. I actually had 96 rated Aubameyang. I, I released him, really. Just wanted to, you guys, I use different players, different formations in every team. I thought I would use players you guys don't see that often. Who that again? Who that? Yes! Well, at least for Portugal, gave me everybody I wanted. I wanted that tall mid midfield guy. Not, but I'm not necessarily wanted Ronaldo, but hey, I'm happy with this. Happy with this one. I'll be playing this game all year. I know 21 is practically the same, and we have to restart. I think uh, if you watch that video, 20 minute ranting about it, yeah. Portugal is definitely helping me. Well, I guess we're gonna have to max out Pepe. Tony Cruz, the good midfield? Yep. Alright, I'm gonna come back out and then refresh. You could call it Pussy Boy, that's fine. If I get Ta, I'd be happy if I just get Timo. Something new. Matejos is shorter with a higher defensive work rate. Vieira is taller. Actually, Vieira is faster and he's got decent defensive work rate. But Vieira is more offensive. But you're talking about destroyer against the box to box. It's a weird comparison there, dude. Manuel Neuer. Okay. Is this is this the best Manuel Neuer? Manuel Neuer? Is this the best one? <laughs> like it matters. Mate, I've had games <laughs> I've had games on my club where my goalkeeper on arrow down and he became man of the match. And I've had games where my goalkeeper on the fucking blue arrow, he couldn't save a goddamn shot. The algorithm is stronger than your players, your tactic. But uh yeah. 96 maxed out, everything is 99. Well, I guess that's the best one. But then again, if you use uh, Manuel Neuer, people start becoming a long ranger. Right? Timo! That's not Timo. Okay, I'm not gonna get Timo now. I mean, I do play 3D back often, so yeah. Okay, we're gonna get Timo now. And here we go. You'll get Cruz. I'm happy even if I got Cruz. Or Klosterman. That's them? Klosterman? Klosterman? Oh, not another manual. No. Nine!